Hi, welcome to the Numeracy 5 a day solutions for the 25th of March. If you're looking for a hint for one particular question, pause this video now and write down the video number for each of the questions that you're stuck on, watch that video and then give it a shot. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the answers now to the questions. So our first question. So the first question was, what fraction of this shape is shaded? So here we've got a rectangle. It's got one, two, actually we count the squares, one, two, three, four, five. So five, 10, 15, 20 squares. So there's 20 altogether. So I'm gonna write down 20 as the denominator. And it says, what fraction of the shape is shaded? So make sure you realize that it's shaded. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just check it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine twentieths of that shape is shaded. Okay, next question. Our next question, it's a coordinates question, and the question says, write down the coordinates of the point P. So here we've got the point P. As you can see, it's two along the corridor, three up the stairs, so the coordinates would be two, three, like so. And make sure you put your brackets around it. Our next question asks us to plot the point three, two on the grid. So that would be three along, two up, so that would be that point there. Okay, our next question. Our next question is a probability question, and here we've got a selection of words. We've got impossible, unlikely, even, likely and certain and the question says which of the word from the box best describes the likelihood of these events so here we've got our first question it says you roll an ordinary dice and get the number six so obviously there's six numbers on the dice and you can't get the number six but because there's six of them and there's only one number six the probability would be unlikely it's unlikely you get it on just one roll of the dice and the next question you get a tail when you flip a coin so that's an even chance even or even chance because there's two outcomes when you flip a coin, you've got heads and tails, and a tails is one of them, so that's an even chance, or 50-50, but right, even chance, or evens. Okay, our next question. Our next question says, write down the value of the digit five in the answer to the question, 185,000 divided by 100. So we're dividing by 100, so each of the digits will move two columns to the right. So the five, which is in the thousands, will move to the tens. The eight, which is in the ten thousands, will move into two places to the right, one, two, into the hundreds. And the one, which is in the hundreds of thousands, will move two places to the right, one, two, into the thousands. So that's would be 1,850. And the question says, write down the value of the digit five. So this is the digit five, it's in the 50s column, so the value of that digit is 50. 